panel off, use a trim tool and take all these push pins out. And grab the panel and slide it off. Now we're going to take these 10 millimeter bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. Underneath, we want to take these two bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out on both sides, use a 10 millimeter socket. And these as well. Take this push pin out, just use a trim tool. Pop that out and do the same on the other side. I'm going to remove the wheel. You don't necessarily need to remove the wheel. You could turn it back and forth to get it out of your way. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pop this center cap off. I'm just going to use a rag behind a straight blade screwdriver just so I don't scratch the wheel. And pop that off. Just like that. Use a 22 millimeter socket and take the lug nuts off. And pull the wheel off. Inside the wheel well, we want to take the bolts out that are right there. There's two more up here. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take those out. There's a bolt right here. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take it out. And just grab the bumper on the side here. Don't grab the bracket above here. And just forcefully just pull it out. That should be loose like that. And do the same on the other side. Disconnect this connector right here. Just get pushed down on the little tab there. And then it's kind of like a ratchet. As this slides down, this slides out. Use a trim tool and just pry these out. Right there, right there. Now the top part of the bumper is held on by a few clips. There's a clip right there. You just want to get underneath there just to pop this off. Just pull up on the bumper a little bit while you're doing this. Take that off and same with the other side. Inside behind the grill there is a clip right here. You want to use a pick, a long pick or a screwdriver. Just get underneath here and just unclip it. Should be able to just lift up. We'll slide out and then do the same on the other side. There we go. It's popped up now. And grab the bumper and just carefully slide it forward. It may help if you have an assistant. And it slides right off. And take this harness off here. Just use a trim tool. Pop that off. And slide this up. You can disconnect the connector right here. Pop this off first. That can pop off. There's a little lock tab here. And slide this little lock tab out. Push down on that and then slide the connector out. Take these screws out down here. Use a T25 socket. There's one there. Get one in the middle here. One over here. There's these clips at the top. You want to pop those out. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just push down on this tab slightly. Just try to pry this out. Just like this. So 
trim it down just enough so that it pops out. Do the same on the other side. Now separate the bumper from the grill up top here. This is just going to slide out. Putting a little bit of pressure, just take a straight blade screwdriver, just push in these little pockets right here. They're just clipped in. You just basically go in and push to the side. That's how you can get that to unlatch. And just try to separate that. And all along the bottom as well. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And there's the grill. Now take the grill, line it up in the center. And just very carefully, you want to clip it back in place. And take these clips, line this up. Lock it in place, do the same on the other side. Line this up, and then plug the camera in. Lock that down, and re-secure that. Take these three screws from down below, get those started, and tighten those down. Grab the bumper and slide it in position. You want to take the wiring harness first. This has to come up top here. So have this over here. And plug that in in a minute. Get everything lined up. Looks good there. Get this over here. Now let's get the sides of the bumper on first. Push those in. Do the same on the other side. And line the connector up. Ratchet that down. You can push these push pins back in place. That's good. Now put the screw right here where that goes. Snug that down, make sure this lines up pretty good. Then the inner fender well, line those up. And get these bolts started. And if there was push pins down here, push those in. And put the bolts in here. Snug those down. Right there. This one right here on these brackets. And over here, tighten those down. And the same on the other side. Put the tire back on. Line that up. Put the nuts on. Now we're gonna torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Take the center cap, look on the back, see where the key is for the valve stem, line that up, and push it back on. 
Now I'll put the bolts in up top. Get those all started. Tighten those down. Now I'll put the cover on. Line it up. Take all the push pins and push those in. <laughs> 